welcome back to Healthy Grocery Girl. Today I'm sharing with you how to make a really great make ahead meal prep recipe. It is a very veggie chili. My husband and I are expecting our very first baby due early April, and so I've started making a list of recipes that I want to prep and freeze so that Erin and I have nourishing meals to enjoy after she arrives. Soups and chilies are my go-to meal prep dish because they're easy, a great way to sneak in veggies and protein, and the leftovers are delicious and they last for days and days. Another tip when you're meal prepping, especially if you're expecting, is to make a double batch. Really anytime you're making a meal, you can eat half now and freeze the other half for later, or you can just make a double batch and freeze it all for later so you have lots of great healthy meals ready to go for you after your little baby arrives. This very Every veggie chili makes six to eight servings and here are the ingredients that you'll need. Coconut oil, sweet onion, celery, orange bell pepper, green bell pepper, vegetable stock, crushed tomatoes, chili powder, oregano, cumin, garlic powder, black pepper and sea salt, white beans, black lentils, baby kale, and spinach. In a large soup pot over medium, heat the coconut oil. Add the onion, celery, orange bell pepper, green bell pepper, and saute for 15 minutes. Then add the vegetable stock, crushed tomatoes, and all of the seasonings. Stir together and simmer for about 20 minutes. Finally, add the baby kale, spinach, white beans, and black lentils. If you plan to eat the soup now, simmer for another 15 minutes until fully heated, and then enjoy. If you are going to freeze this soup, like I am today, remove from heat after you add the greens and beans and let cool. Scoop into freezer-safe glass jars, making sure to leave room at the top for expansion, and secure with a tight lid and place upright in your freezer. Well, that's it for today's recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll give it a try. If you make this recipe and share a pick online, make sure you tag me at Healthy Grocery Girl. And as always, we post the full recipe directions and ingredients on our blog, on our website at healthygrocerygirl.com if you want to view, print, pin, or save the recipe. Thank you so much for watching our video today and subscribing to our channel. We love you so much. We hope you're having a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.